All right. Well, listen. <laughs> Last week, I admitted that I was wrong about Tiger King. For those who are not aware, Tiger King is a show about the dark side of big cat rescue in the United States. I hope that the fact that the makers placed more interest on the crazy flamboyant cast of characters like Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin, by the way, I side with the latter, uh, would not prevent people from awakening. Uh, that in fact, like Walter Benjamin says, in the Walter Benjamin sense, the madness would lead to awakenings when the spectator in a dreamlike state is unexpectedly awakened, confronted by the images of locked up wild animal misery. Well, like I said, I was wrong. I admit it, I was wrong. W-R-O-N-G, wrong. <clears throat> and I don't care if it was due to conditioning, the media, that people love bacon too much to care for animal welfare. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. But the battle for animal rights and animal welfare is one of the battles I most passionately support, which is why when a friend of mine pointed me in the direction of a monologue by Bill Maher on this subject, I was pleasantly surprised. Firstly, because I don't particularly like Bill Maher. But secondly, because this guy I don't particularly liked managed to encapsulate my feelings about this entire situation, this entire thing. So I'm going to play it here. I'm going to play the full monologue. Bill Maher, I know you're a loyal listener of the show, so I speak your name and I salute you. And finally, new rule, stop trying to get me to watch Tiger King. It's not going to happen. I already have to watch one bottle blonde from reality TV. And the other reason I'm not watching Tiger King while sequestering, because torturing animals is what got us into this mess. That's the lesson we keep refusing to learn, that you can't trash the environment, including animals, and not have it come back and kill you.